guys, it's Euro Santana from Arc Addicts and Supreme Walking Academy. Today guys, I have David and Carlos. They're gonna be showing you guys how to do a 2G 12 inch schedule 375 on the scaffold. Okay, so make sure you guys stay tuned with us for more amazing welding content. Stay tuned. Que si me raza, soy David Armenta y este aquí vamos a hacer una pipa de 12. Este la vamos a hacer en el scaffold allá arriba. Y este lo vamos a hacer en 2G con 6010 y eh, 7018 este eh, vamos a hacer una demostración más o menos ahorita vamos a preparar la pipa ponerle un landing night por ahí 332 un ochito por ahí hey, what's going on guys here uh, my name is carlos and uh, we're over here at uh, SWA uh, we're gonna do a video of a 2G uh, 12 inch pipe we're gonna be doing it on the scaffold and uh, we're gonna be brother in law with my buddy David and uh, right now we're gonna prep it we're gonna uh, smooth it down with the sand fall, and then we're gonna land, give it a landing, about an eighth inch, and uh, just do it. Este, ahorita vamos a ataquear la pipa de 12 este usamos una un spacer de 332 es esa es una german plate la hice una la ataque la hice una t para que quede todo igual para no batallar y este le hicimos un un landing de 332 la pipa está grande eso aguanta mucho calor si la pipa está más chiquita pues me gusta hacerle un poquito más de landing porque está más chiquita se calienta más pues aguanta mucho calor pues es de 12 hey what's going on guys hey uh, we are here we already uh, sent it down we gave it a landing about a 330 second of landing and uh, right now we're going to space it out we're going to check we don't have no high low uh, the pipe is well centered and uh, uh, we're going to give it about a 16 of a gap we're using a 330 second we get one of the sides, we get it where we want it, and we take the blade out, and then we're gonna even out on the other side so we can get a tag one uh, on each side. A 12 and a 6. Ahorita voy a taquearla. Este, la tengo en el third gear en el medio. Es una classic 300. Para la de un 8, para el root, me gusta ponerla por ahí como en 30 a 40. Este, depende de mi gap. Si está muy cerrado, le subo, le subo hasta, le puedo subir hasta 50 si está muy cerrado. Bueno, ya está lista, la taqueamos, le pusimos cuatro taques para que no se cierre. Este, vamos a, ya estamos listos, la vamos a hacer en la yo y Carlos y let's do it. Hey, what's going on, guys? Like, as you can see, we got the pipe already on its position. It's going to be a 2G. We've got it already tacked up. Uh, first things first, safety first. Everybody, we're hitched up. It's hitched up with the harness. And uh, uh, right now what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna feather down the tacks. We're gonna feather them, that we can, we can get a, a soft start and we can tie them better. Bueno, ya la tenemos aquí. Le vamos a, a feather la, las puntas de los, de los tacks. Vamos a prepararla ya para echarle. Eh, para que amarre bien, pues tenemos que con la grinder. Uh, acá, acá está bien de este lado, de este lado está muy cerrado. O se lo voy a pasar, la, la voy a preparar con la metabo. Derecho, así nomás derecho, para que, pa que entre, para no batallar. Okay guys, so you gotta make sure you have the right fit. So what David meant is that uh, he's gonna go ahead and put the metabol straight in, um, into the gap. Uh, Cause you know, it's very important to get some penetration inside. If not, it's gonna be really hard for, for the wall to uh, burn through. So what he's doing is basically just putting the metabol in, getting the right gap for good penetration.
okay guys it's very important for you guys to drag that rod but at the same time you're pushing it in okay also the angle of the rod is very important guys now it all depends on your fit up sometimes you might want to have that rod pointing upwards sometimes you might want to have that rod pointing downwards like i said it all just depends on your fit up um just keep it dragging dragging and pushing okay now as you can see right about now I'm going back and forth just to ensure that I actually tie in with my tech. Okay guys, now when you're welding, it's very important to watch out for your, your sparks, okay? You gotta make sure that all the sparks are inside, all the metal is stacking inside the pipe. If you see sparks coming out and hitting you, that means something is wrong, okay? So maybe that's one thing you guys need to watch out for. But as you're going, guys, the sound that it makes, it, it says it all, you know. If it sounds echoish inside the pipe, that means you're throwing in a good root. Okay, now when you guys are welding on a 2G position, a quick little quick little tip for you guys is you could always add a bigger landing on the top bevel. That way it could hold up more heat. Um, if the sparks tend to push out on you, you know, you're always going to have your helper that, you know, bump it up five. 10 whatever it's necessary to break that wall and get that nice penetration inside Well guys, uh, we just finished laying our bead in. We uh, uh, ran it at about, I was running third gear, about 30 to 40, depending on the, the gap. But uh, we laid it out, we already weld on it, and we're fixing to grind it to run our hot pass. And, uh, Bueno, ya estamos listos para poner el hot pass. El rule ya lo limpiamos. Y este, ahora estamos ya con el 532, 6010, el hot pass. Y después sigue el 7018. Okay guys, now for the 6010-532 um, hot pass, as you can see, um, they're going counterclockwise. Okay, they go hit the bottom bevel and then they go back up. Hit the bottom bevel and go back up. That's basically the whole routine all the way around for this 6010-532 uh, hot pass, guys. You don't want to spend all the time in the middle. You don't want to blow through that, that root. So make sure you just keep that moving constant. Constant moving, okay?
All right, guys, we already did the hot pass. We went ahead and brushed it, and uh, we're fixing to put uh, two Stringer fillers, 7018, 1.8, at about a 70 amps. Okay, guys, as you can see, the movement that they're doing with the rod is kind of just like a dragon motion. There's really kind of no, uh, no movement to it, just kind of just up and down, up and down, barely any movement. The puddle itself is already spreading, so you just gotta watch your your walls uh, fusing in. Just drag it out, and you should be fine. Okay guys, so now for the top bead, it's the same thing. You gotta watch that puddle come down and um, fuse in with the bead and the bottom that you had just thrown uh, previously. Check out the angle of the rod. You know, you have to be pointed upward since you are gonna, since you are in a 2G position and you are, get, uh, you are fighting against gravity. Alright guys, uh, we got done doing two fillers, as y'all can see right there, uh, one after the other, that's uh, two fillet, and uh, we're going to do a 3 peak cap, because usually whenever you're doing uh, 2G uh, in any position on, uh, uh, on procedure, sometimes they call, you can't do even numbers on caps, you got to do odds, so we're going to do either one, or three, and on this case, we can't do it with one, so we're gonna go ahead and do three big cats.
Well, there you have it, guys. Another great rolling video here from Arc Attic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I want to thank these guys so much for giving you guys some techniques. And again, we're doing this just bringing out people from all around Texas to give you guys some good welding techniques here in our guys channel. I want to thank you so much guys for uh, helping us reach 1k followers and on the next video I'm going to give you guys the steps on how to enter our giveaway. Okay, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.